All right. So welcome, Joe and Court. You're here to talk to us about the Amazon Chime SDK. So before we get dive in, please introduce yourself to the viewers. Let them know a little bit about what you do at AWS. Sure. Uh, Joe Trelli. I'm a senior specialist uh, solutions architect with the Amazon Chime SDK. Court. And my name is Court Shute. I am the lead evangelist for the Amazon Chime SDK uh, as a developer advocate. Awesome. Welcome both. And uh, Court's going to go away for a few minutes. He's going to come back. Trust us. He will be back shortly. But we're going to start with Joe. And we're talking about the Amazon Chime SDK, which was news to myself and Faro actually when we were talking pre-show about this. But before we get into the SDK itself, let's take a step back. And can you briefly describe what is Amazon Chime to begin with? Sure. Well, Amazon Chime uh, began as actually what's called a unified communications app or a collaboration app that we're all used to in the last few years. Um, and we use it internally at Amazon and Amazon Web Services. Um, but what that sort of turned into is and now runs on what's called the Amazon Chime SDK. So they are two different things. Um, and that's what we're here to talk about today is the SDK. Awesome. All right. So the, oh, super curious. Oh, so yeah, I mean, I would love to know more about what, you know, I didn't, I hadn't heard of the Chime, uh, the eight of Amazon Chime SDK. So I'd love to learn a little bit more about, can you tell the, you know, everybody what it, what it is, uh, what it's used for, and maybe what a couple of use cases it might help to solve? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So the Amazon uh, Chime SDK is, is really a builder service as part of Amazon web services. And, you know, it's, it's, it allows, builders to integrate real-time media, whether that's WebRTC video and audio, whether that's PSTN audio, like, you know, SIP trunking or programmable voice. So building like a, an IVR, or like, you know, when you call into places and it says press one for this, right? That would, that's what an IVR would be or messaging applications. We actually just released recently um, the ability to have, be able to have a million uh, participants in a chat messaging channel. So it, it kind of is comprised with those three things. And some of the use cases that we typically see customers um, use are healthcare is one of them. So being able to talk to, you know, your doctor, your nurse or healthcare professional, and the doctor is able to take notes in the health records application they're used to using. Um, or, you know, fit, a fitness application. I had a customer that had, um, you know, they, they had a yoga studios who needed to do these large um, broadcasts and interactive broadcasts that they were able to build the WebRTC and the and the video portion right into their own app. I think that's the key of the Amazon Chem SDK is that it provides you the, the APIs and the, the tools, uh, those base level tools to be able to put it in your experience. So users aren't switching out of your experience to another application. Cool. Did I hear you right? Did you just say a million users simultaneously in a chat room? Yes, that that was a recent uh, recent release with our messaging feature. Yep. It's and, like and, uh, chat yeah, from all heck. Uh, <laughs> a lot of users. That's a lot of users. <laughs> that is a lot of users. <laughs> exactly. Um, talking of users, actually, and viewers, I've I've noticing the the viewers coming in. We got Tunisia, I see Nigeria, Senegal, Seattle, Helric, You don't count. Uh, <laughs> Mexico, Maryland, awesome, all around the globe. This is great. So, I know that we briefly introduced the Amazon Chime SDK. And we're here specifically to talk about a new feature called the Live Connector. So can you tell us a little bit more about what that is? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it because I, I dabble in live streaming. Obviously, we're live streaming right now, right? <laughs> um, so th the crux of it is, you know, you have these experiences, right? Like we're talking about, let's say it's a, a, a virtual event or a watch party or online class. And there may be an interactivity portion of that event where there's a presenter or some students, but then that needs to get broadcast out to a hundred thousand, a million people. Again, we talk about this, uh, these, these large numbers, right? And the way that we do that now with Live Connector is through RTMP or RTMPS. If you're familiar, that's a, it's a common protocol that's used to get to things like Twitch um, or YouTube Live, or our internal AWS services, Amazon mm -hmm. Elemental, um, Amazon IBS. And so anyway, we can now, uh, with an API call and a little bit of JSON to configure your composite view, we can send out to those services right from that WebRTC meeting. Awesome. awesome. So you, you had me at a line of code and a, and a few small bits of JSON, <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> 
a uh, fun fact that the first tech company that I worked at when they were talking about JSON, I thought they were bringing up a name and I thought that they were, I actually like had no idea who they were. There was somebody in the room that I was missing, but um, so what does this enable me to add to my application? Yeah. So it's it, essentially, if you wanted to do this one to many experience where you have, um, a, a smaller group of people. In fact, the M an Amazon Chime SDK meeting can support up to 250 participants. Mm -hmm. And a number of those can be on video, you know, have their webcam on. But then within that quote unquote meeting, and again, that's, that's embedded into usually a, a, a company's application. So it's not a different experience. But now you can either have a button or a way that uh, with with that API, that that line of code essentially to start streaming um, to an RTMP or a, a destination of your choice to get out to thousands or billions of, of viewers. You know, a Amazon mm -hmm. Elemental Media Live, for example, um, does does these huge events um, and and is able to support that. So you can embed that into your website. It's an HLS stream. Um, that's a, a pretty typical thing in in the industry. Cool. Cool. So, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting interested to see this. I, I, you've, you had me at the one line of code or a couple of lines of code and the JSON, right? So, can we go see it? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, so this is actually a blog post that we released uh, with the, the launch of, of the feature. And mm -hmm. I'm going to start here. And then Core, who's our lead evangelist, will go into a little application that he's built um, actually in the last couple of days. To, to show you how it works. So I just want to show you the, the layout. So um, we have something called compositing that's part of the release. Um, so you have the active speaker view. Um, mm -hmm. And here, here's an example of the JSON that you would write to configure this. And basically with the API call, you're going to pass in this JSON file. So you can see um, it's an SDK meeting. You would put your AWS account ID. You'd put the meeting ID, which is unique to, to each of uh, each data, uh, Amazon Chime SDK meeting. And then here you would put the ingest server, your RTMP or RTMPS ingest server um, and your stream key. So you build the JSON file and then um, you're going to pass it in. We'll get down to the bottom here. Sorry to move around, but I want to show you the actual um, API. So here's the here's what you can call through the CLI. And it goes through the, the AWS SDK. Again, you could do this from your app. But if you were using the CLI, uh, that, that's what this blog post does. But you would call on the Chime SDK media pipelines. And then you would create a, a live connector pipeline and input that JSON file that has your composite layout um, and also has the information about that particular meeting and also um, the, the RTMP destination. So just to, just to cover the, the composite layouts we, we do have, if, um, if you just need to see the speakers, we do have grid view. Um, okay. We also have content with uh, the, the windows, either on the, you know, the video windows on below or on the side. Uh, we have presenter only. So whoops, <laughs> we have presenter only so that the presenter is actually superimposed over the content oh, so here. Like picture in picture kind of. Yeah, mode. exactly. Like a picture in yeah. picture. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm sure, you know, as, as we go and we hear feedback from customers, obviously, you know, we, that's where we, uh, that's where we build features from or yeah. feedback from customers. So if there's others that, um, that customers are, are looking for, I'm sure we'll, we'll be interested to hear about them. So, so that's kind of the, the long and short of it. And, um, I guess any questions from our host before we kick it to, kick yeah, it to I, I was okay. only going to comment and say that that looks like the kind of JSON snippets that I could author. <laughs> like they're relatively small, which is <laughs> fat fingers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a developer, and uh, you know, I was able to <laughs> to get this going. Core is more uh, is is a lot better with code. That's why I was able to write an app in a couple of days for this. So, Court, why don't we transition mm -hmm. over to you? You can show what that looks like um, and talk a little bit about how you built it. Getting to have all the fun today with all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds great. Uh, thanks. Uh, this is just a little something that I put together. It's it's you know a little crude, but um, this is the the idea behind it. And you know we use the CloudFront, the Amazon CloudFront, to host a lot of these web pages so that we can get out there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a, a basic React app using uh, S3 and CloudFront, and then an API gateway to get to the Lambda. And that Lambda is where we're going to do. 
kind of all that action, right? Creating those uh, channels, creating that that mm -hmm. pipeline and things like that. And then we we pipe all of that out into the the interactive video service in this in this particular example. So um, okay. yeah, what we can do, we can start that up and give it a try. So this is like kind of a diagram of what it looks like. You're not um, going to start the diagram, right? Well, no, no, not going to start the <laughs> diagram. So very very basic uh, demo. I am going to okay. join into this meeting. So this is going to be an Amazon Chime SDK meeting. You can see I have come into this and now we can have Joe come into this as well. And now we have Joe. So we are both in this Amazon Chime SDK meeting and we are you know, talking to each other. Presumably we're not actually, but, but presumably we could. Um, from here, all we're going to do is click our little stream button and fingers crossed, we're going to get a stream that pops up on the screen here in just a second. And there we go. So yes, <laughs> this, is a, this, is a bit, this is a bit meta now. Hang on, you're you're on a stream with us. Yep. You're in simultaneous in a meeting with Joe and streaming that meeting. Streaming that meeting out to <laughs> another IVS. Yeah. And so you can see in here, this is uh, what that looks like within the IVS. We have created this channel that was part of the mm -hmm. Lambda doing the back end, and you can even see it in here as well because <laughs> the IVS has a, a player within it. Um, you can, uh, what, what Joe had talked about with the CLI, oh, timed out on my, um, so we can see some of those, um, those, uh, pipelines right here. Oh. This is what happens to me when I time type live I, on it. <laughs> yeah. I had it all queued up and teed <laughs> up and, and then it lost it. Um, so this is that media pipeline. So okay. we've used this Lambda right here uh, to to create the channel and then to pipe into that channel this IVS. And I can show you the code for that. Yeah. It's maybe not one line, but it's not it's not too many. Mm -hmm. um, this is that Lambda code where we're going to create a new channel. So this is us saying to, uh, to IVS, I need a new channel. Yeah. We get the input from that channel, which is this uh, the the, the ingest URL and then the stream key, we get that information back and we pipe that and we send that over to the create media live connector pipeline. And that that's basically it. That's, you know, we've already got the meeting established. Now we're just adding a channel and piping this out to, to that channel. This is, this is cool. I'm going to have to go and have a go at this myself because I'm going to go at it from the .NET perspective, but you know, <sighs> It's your uh, SDKs, right? They're it's, it's an SDK. Yeah. Yeah, you know, SDK. I, so, yeah, this is awesome. I yeah, wrote I it in notes, the, but... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I'm noticing in the comments, too, that we're getting a lot of like, interesting and talk about what a change. Uh, I mean, yeah. how was this done before? This is hard to do, right? Like to, to yeah. embed this within, you know, an mm -hmm. existing application, which is, you know, kind of the point of that Amazon Chime SDK is to let you take your own existing application and add voice and video to it. You know, mm -hmm. without all of the, the the heavy heavy lifting, I mean, if you want to see what that the back end code looks like for the um, the Amazon, th this is what the client looks like now. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're we're going out, we're saying create a meeting, and we're saying, all right, let's start that meeting. And this is not that you know that much effort in order to bring in a video tile mm -hmm. directly into into your React app. And and here we go. This is me, local video. This is Joe, remote video, and and we have we have a meeting, you know, that we right. can we can yeah. embed into it. To be honest, that's that's actually less than than I was expecting. Even yeah. knowing that you know there it, there was there wasn't much code, that's less than I was expecting. Yeah, it, it's really you know we have these React components, and these React components do a lot of that heavy work right. for you, right? I don't have to build out a control bar for um, you know audio input. I don't have to build out a control bar button for audio control. All of that's built right in. To this yeah yeah wow that's super that's awesome great. and then how does this integrate with other services like you know aws elemental or ivs yeah so um you know we're going to use this back end for a lot of this right so this this mm -hmm. this lambda is being you know controlled by this client by this back end um and we can branch out so we can dump this out to an s3 so if we wanted to record this meeting yeah. instead of broadcasting we could do that too mm -hmm. um the really cool one another one that i really like is transcribe so mm -hmm. with a single api call i send out to transcribe and transcribe basically sends me back the transcription 
item, you know, diarized for each individual speaker because I know all the speakers in the meeting. So I can get a complete transcription of the meeting as it's happening in real time. Then I can send it out to translate. I can throw this into recognition. Like the, the integrations between the Amazon Chime SDK and all the great AWS AI ML applications, like they, they really fit together very well. I think super cool. Super cool. This is this is like got my coding <laughs> brain going of like, oh, I have to go write a demo this afternoon. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I have other work to do, but I want to go write a demo this afternoon. <laughs> with, with, with this baseline, I mean, we were able to to get this up and working in just a couple of days because this feature just came out, so I wasn't testing okay. it before. Here we go. Yeah, that's kind of cheating, now, right? You got to play with it before release. But okay. I didn't actually. Jo yeah. Joe played with it before. I I, I waited until it came out. So. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is great. Um, actually, I just saw a, a comment here. You know, the, the black box works as intended. Right? This this I, is like, yeah. I was sweating for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is nerve wracking. Awesome. Well, we have a couple of minutes left, so um, let's bring Joe back on um, and wrap up. And I think I guess for a lot of people who are watching this right now, uh, their first and primary thought is, okay, where do I go to get started with this? So, what should they do? Um, there's a pretty good workshop out there on okay. AWS workshops for building a React. Um, and as, as Joe was mentioning, you know, there's other components of the Amazon Chime SDK, the PSTN, and other things. Yeah. Check out the workshops. They're, they'll walk you through all the step-by-step -step how to build this React uh, app, how to build the back end, and, and tie those together. That's great. I like it when there's a workshop available. I love workshops. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping we can share those links. I was going to try to look for them so I could drop them in the chat in case folks wanted to try it. Um, it, oh, actually, it it's interesting. A... Sorry, sorry for I was just I just noticed a question just came in. Yeah. How many users can participate in a stream simultaneously? Do we know? Can we talk to it? Yeah. It's, it's... Oh, good. So, Go ahead, Joe. so in a in an Amazon Chime SDK meeting, you can have up to 250 participants. Um, right. In the Live Connector feature, you can have up to 25 people have, having their video tiles on, their webcams on, and streaming out. Um, granted, they get a lot smaller, right? When you, when you have them, <laughs> um, and then there is actually a feature within Live Connector in which, if you wanted to tag, okay, these two attendees are the only people I want to go out to RTMP or RTMPS, like to a destination, you can also do that. Okay. Thanks to Adam from LinkedIn, by the way, for, for raising that question. I forgot to mention him. So, um, yeah, this is, this is great. So I think we are almost at time for this session. So I just want to remind everybody before we say goodbye to Court and Joe, please stay watching. We have got a survey running. Remember the first 50 respondents get a $10 uh, AWS usage credit. So worth having a go. And um, yeah, thanks to Court. Thanks to Joe for coming along to talk about.